Is it too late to buy Hedera? Now that's a question that I've actually seen flowing through the interwebs a lot. Of course, many people are questioning whether they should be buying it at all now, now that we found out that that BlackRock news was misinterpreted. Is it too late? Are we too far off the bottom? Well, you know, kind of what's the move for Hedera right now? Is HBAR worth buying? And so in today's video, what I wanna do is just give you my quick opinion, let you guys know what I'm thinking, my anticipations, my predictions, and much more about what I think Hedera and HBAR's price is gonna do and where I think that this thing is gonna go. And as a result, what I personally am doing. And so with that in mind, let's not waste any more time at all. And let's get straight into the video. Now, the first the, the first question, let's just rip the bandaid off. Is it too late to buy Hedera? No. I personally don't think so. I think that the AI narrative is one that's going to thrive. I think it's one that's still going to survive. I think it's one that's going to do extremely well. And I think that HBAR is going to be one of those longer lasting cryptos that continuously does well over a longer period of time. Yes, of course, it had a rough 2022. Yes, of course, it had a rough 2023. But at the end of the day, considering the thing launched at the very end of a bull market and had to endure its first, you know, its first year in a bear market and not just a bear market, a bloody bear market, I would say that it's fared pretty damn well. And what you can see here is that the excitement around it can still be there it can still come back and it can start to really gain momentum as liquidity is injected into crypto because we did see a flash of it here when we moved 185 percent just in a couple days off of some news that was really just misinterpreted news and so again the, the 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 primary answer to that question no i don't believe that it's too late to buy hedera now have there been better you know opportunities to buy hedera yeah obviously right i mean you can look at something we turn on hd algo which is my company's indicator you can see right back here was a time to buy or this cluster was a time to buy. This was a time to buy. This was a time to buy, right? These were definitely much better times to be buying, but that doesn't say that, you know, this thing cannot continue upwards and that this couldn't serve as a good buying opportunity, even if it does venture downward a little bit more before making that move to the upside. Just because there were previously better times doesn't mean that this is a bad time. Hell, I still think that we could see H bar reach 30 cents, which I'll explain in a second here, based off of the structural analysis that I've seen from this thing over the last couple months. Now, the reason that I came down to that thesis and the reason that I got to that conclusion is because of what we are again seeing from a structural perspective. What you can see is that we had what many people would consider to be a bit of a leaning double bottom here, okay? This little W-shaped pattern right here. Now, generally speaking, whenever you put in structure of this nature to the bottom side of a move, especially a macro move, your breakout targets to the upside are going to be pretty, you know, pretty substantial. You're going to have really high breakout targets because this is massive bottoming out structure. Now, some people may say, well, look, this is all just like staring at the stars and making out shapes and you can call it what you want but the moment that we cleared the breakout zone of this little quote-unquote fake structure right here we absolutely saw H bar take off and you know that's no coincidence in my opinion now in a situation in which we see a structure of this nature in which you see this right let's just go ahead and look and draw it just like that you can either call it a double bottom or you can call it a cup and handle but each one of them work the same way at the end of the day the zone that is the most important is this one right here this little middle point of resistance we we call this the MLR. This is the mid-level of resistance, and this is by far the most important point of resistance for a structure of this nature. Now, the reason being is because that is the determining factor of what your breakout target to the upside is once you clear this level. So in this example, what we would go ahead and do is take the distance from that point, your MLR, all the way down to the bottom of your structure. There you go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that distance and apply it to the top side of that MLR right here, and that gives you your breakout target. Let's bring that right on back. I don't know what happened there. Boom, this gives you your breakout target. And we're just gonna draw a straight line across at where our breakout target is. Now what you can see here is that pretty incoincidentally, our breakout target of this little structure right here actually turns out to be exactly where we put in these previous highs back at the top of the last bull market. That is no surprise, that is no coincidence, and that is no accident. These things typically just align like that. That's just what happens. And so because of that, and knowing that we could possibly have a structure that is gonna give us a breakout target that gets us back up towards what's this 31 cents, no, I definitely don't think that it's too late to buy H bar. I mean, from here, that's a move of another 202%. And obviously, that's a fantastic gain, especially within, you know, the, a crypto that's of this size and of this market cap. And so for a, just a general brief explanation, no, yes, I think that there were better buying opportunities. And my company's indicator did point those out. You can check that out down below if you want to, but I don't care. At the end of the day, it's just saying, look, there were these moments where we saw better times to be buying. But if in the grand scheme of things, there is a possibility that we do get a move to upwards of 30 cents, and we're currently sitting 
right only around 10 cents obviously speaking there is still potential and there still is possible room to the upside and that's just from a fundamental and technical perspective that's not from a physical perspective that's not talking about how good Hedera itself is not talking about the utility the use case the adoption we're not talking about any of those things just from a purely technical perspective there's clearly still possible room to the upside there's clearly still the ability to make gains off of this thing and even though it might go sideways for a little bit or might pull back for a little bit the door to the upside is still open and I definitely think that we're going to see H bar walk through that door at some point making its way back up towards 31 to 32 cents and I will be on the lookout for when that does happen and hopefully updating you guys on a rather consistent basis as we do make that move so if you do enjoy this Hedera content if you do enjoy these little quick videos giving my quick opinions letting you know my thoughts and where I think this thing is going please do let me know down in the comments below and you can also let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you are new but with that in mind guys if you are new here I post two three four times every single day talking about some of your favorite altcoins and cryptos so if you do want to check it out make sure that you head to my channel and check out some of my recent videos and I can't wait to see you all there peace out everybody